Years have gone by since this game of truth or dare. And even today, my husband still does not know the origins of my love of sometimes wearing a blindfold when we make love. It was in the grandeur of a Venetian masquerade ball, where a daring encounter spun my life into a sensual tapestry of mystery and desire. Lured by the enigmatic charm of Venice, I'd flown across the Atlantic to attend the renowned Masquerade Ball, a night of intrigue, enchantment, and elegant anonymity. Amidst the dazzling array of gowns, glimmering masks, and golden chandeliers, I was a stranger amidst strangers. As the night aged, the anticipation for the evening's truth or dare ritual, a tradition of this illustrious event, loomed in the air. As the giant clock struck midnight, a silver goblet was passed around, filled with folded slips of paper, each containing a dare devised by the hosts themselves. The goblet was handed to me, my heart pounding against my ribs as I plucked a slip from the swirling sea of dares. I unfolded it, my eyes scanning the words inscribed in elegant, swirly script. Steal a kiss from a stranger of your choice. The room fell into silence, then erupted into excited whispers. My mind reeled, a whirlwind of confusion and exhilaration. I had the freedom to choose anyone in the room, hidden behind their masks, their identities a secret. Among the sea of masked faces, my eyes landed on a figure dressed in an elaborate black suit, his mask adorned with an intricate design of silver and sapphire. There was a magnetic pull, an inexplicable allure that had me captivated. With a deep breath, I gathered my courage and began to navigate through the crowd, my heart pounding like a wild drum. As I neared him, I noticed the amused twinkle in his eyes, as if he was already aware of the dare I had been given. Summoning all my boldness, I reached up, our eyes locking over the edge of our masks. The world around us seemed to blur, the murmurs of the crowd fading into oblivion. My dare, I began, my voice barely above a whisper, is to steal a kiss from a stranger. Would you mind being that stranger? A slow, mysterious smile spread across his lips as he nodded in agreement, taking a step closer. He was much taller than me, his presence commanding yet gentle. With a deep breath, I rose onto my tiptoes, my hands resting lightly on his chest. With the thrill of anonymity giving me a strange excitement and courage, I pressed my lips onto his masked ones, the world spinning around me. The kiss was brief a fleeting connection between two masked strangers in a room full of prying eyes. But within those few seconds, a bolt of electricity shot through me, the world blurring into a dizzying swirl of colors and sensations. As I pulled away, a collective cheer erupted around us, the room buzzing with excitement. He offered a charming smile, the glint in his eyes reflecting amusement and a hint of intrigue. I thanked him and turned away, my heart fluttering in my chest like a caged bird. The rest of the night was a whirlwind, a blend of music, laughter, and clandestine glances exchanged with the handsome stranger. The encounter, the daring kiss, added a delicious layer of thrill to the night, a secret memory etched into the canvas of my heart. The dare had not only been a thrilling escapade, but a catalyst, igniting a spark of boldness within me. It was a daring waltz on the dance floor of intimacy and thrill, a night I'd forever remember as a tale of masks, mystery, and a stolen kiss. That game of truth or dare, held within the grandeur of a Venetian ballroom, had dared me to step out of my comfort zone to embrace the thrill of the unknown and dive into a fleeting moment of desire. It was the highlight of my Venetian adventure, 
a daring confession cloaked in mystery and intrigue, etched forever into my memory. I never did find out his true identity, but I think I found my own identity that night. This short story is part of a six-part Truth or Dare confession series entitled Red-Faced Confessions, Six Spicy Truth or Dare Stories. Part 1. To hear the other five confessions in this series and other stories like this one, please subscribe to The Romance Diaries on YouTube. And if you have enjoyed this story, please show us some love by hitting the like button.